Hey friends and family, I have another word of encouragement for you today. The scripture is Psalms 139 and 14. David says, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. As the scripture reveals to us, praise and worship was a lifestyle for King David. In this context, David told us that he would praise God because of how he created him. Both fearfully and wonderfully express David's awe of God's handiwork. Many people today have what I call a, an identity crisis. They're suffering from an identity crisis simply because they don't know who they are in Christ. And so they have allowed other people to tell them who they are and they look to other sources to fill the emptiness in their soul that only God can fill. I want you to know that you have been fearfully and wonderfully made. In other words, you are not an accident. You are not a loser. You are not less than. You are not any of the negative things that your family members, so-called friends, or even haters have said about you. You are a child of God, and you have his DNA on the inside of you, and you are a winner, you have purpose, and you have destiny. Somebody needed to hear that today. Understanding your identity in Christ is absolutely essential to your success. A constant flow of God's word in your life in regards to your new identity in Christ is the key to overcoming every lie of Satan. This is the reason why many people don't know who they are is because they have allowed Satan and other people to tell them who they are. And so I want to reiterate a constant flow of God's word is what you need in your life. You've got to find out what God says about you. God doesn't say any of the negative things about you that other people say about you. Let me remind you, you are a child of God. You have God's DNA on the inside of you. You are more than a conqueror. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. The scripture is filled. The scriptures, excuse me, are filled with so many different examples, so many different uh uh, examples in the scripture of who we are in Christ. God has made it very clear. The creator, our creator, God almighty is the one who defines who we are. Well, friends and family until next time, keep living that soul's life. <laughs>